Hey guys, back again with a quick video here. I'm um, just going to take a little bit of time and show how easy it is to, um, pretty much in no time at all, build a preset in the Axe Effects 2 using Axe Edit. Um, you know, again, I think I've said this in every video, but you know, one of the misconceptions about the Axe is that it's difficult to work with or that it's complicated, and that's simply not the case. So I thought I'd show just how quickly you can build a great sounding preset in Axe Edit. So um, if you're not familiar with Axe Edit or with the Axe Effects in general, um, this is the grid and this is how everything is laid out. Everything goes left to right from input to output. And all these little blocks are the different instances of effects you could have. So if I right click or command click or two finger click on the trackpad considering what you're using, you'll see this is the list of things that you can put in a block. So it always shows all the effects. Um, compressors, EQs, filters, amp, cap, all this stuff. So um, everything you use in the Axe Effects is going to be a block. And if you see here, you have a lot of room to play around. You can have your main signal path left to right with parallel rows above or beneath. You can carry this out to here and um, use an effects send block, put an effects return block here or here, and keep your, you know, your kind of serial line going all the way up to the output. So there's a lot of room for flexibility and creativity in this, and you're only limited by the amount of CPU, CPU usage that you're using, and also the number of instances the um, axe allows of each thing. Um, it, it'll allow two of an amp, two of a cab, two of course, two of delay, um, four of a filter, so on and so forth. So, um, you know, you're you can really get crazy if you want to, but we're going to show how simple it is. Now, right now, there's nothing in the grid. And if I strum my guitar, you shouldn't be hearing anything. And now, if I go over here and connect the first block to the last block, that'll populate the grid with a long shunt going through. Now, a shunt, to me, is essentially like a, um, a patch cable probably still not getting any sound because there's nothing um, in the grid to work with so to speak. So we're going to come right here, um, I'll come right here and I'm going to drop in an amp block. It defaulted to a dirty Shirley because that's one of my global blocks that I use when I'm building presets but I'm going to work with the uh, matchless DC30 because I'm pretty familiar with that one. Now if I play a little bit getting a little tone but not much and it sounds probably like it's coming through an AM radio because there's no cab block. Well here we're going to come to the cab block and again depending on what you're using I'm on a Mac and I'm using a trackpad so I'm just two finger clicking or you could command click or um, on Windows machine this would be a right click I believe it's been a while since I've used one but so do that and my options come out and just pick cab one. Cab one now it defaults to a one by six oval That's not what I want to use, so I'm going to change that. But let me know you let you know real quick too. Um, my playing will be probably especially sloppy today. Um, I managed to cut the tip of my ring finger, not badly, but enough that it's it's a really a bleeder. So I have a um, fairly unwieldy band-aid on it right now. So it's really kind of hard, and it's catching on the string. So if you hear a lot of mistakes, we're just going to blame that and not blame my overall sloppiness as a player. But if we come here to the cab, I'm going to use. Um, now there's quite a few cabs you could use with this and I will say this, if you know what you're going for and you know what you like, it really doesn't take much time to do this. Um, I'm going to use the user cab, it's the Ownhammer Deluxe 1x12 Alnico Silver um, cab. This is my favorite cab with this amp, it's just, this is my tone, I love it. Much my basic tone right there. Now it's a non-master volume amp, so the master volume is on 10, input drives on 5, everything's pretty much on 5. Um, bass mid treble, the uh, high cut is not engaged at all. So um, I mean I think right now, you know, that's just a great... go a lot 
lot of places so that from country to like jangly pop to whatever. Now I usually run this a little hotter, say around um, 6.75. I just like it to have a little more grit to it. It's just a preference. So anyway, moving left to right. Now we have our amp and cab set up. So it depends on how you want how you run things. Um, I usually think of things as you know drive and mod before your amp and cab, and any delays and reverbs after. So what we'll do is we're, I'm going to drop a reverb over here towards the end. Um, see it defaults to a medium room. It's a pretty good sounding reverb right there. We're just going to leave it default. I'm not going to get into tweaking the parameters of the effects right now. But you can see it's set at a pretty low mix, 20%. Um, room size is pretty medium. The decay time is about two and a half seconds. So from when you hit about two and a half seconds till it disappears. And you can tweak all this stuff. If you're familiar with reverb at all, um, you pretty much know what all of these things do. Now there's advanced stuff to this. We're not gonna dive in deep to these things, like I said. But, um, you know, so that's that easy. You have a reverb block in there there. So let's go over here and um, let's see. Let's add an OD. So you, again, select your block, bring up the options, and come down to your, let's see, drive, drive one. And it's automatically engaged and it's going to default to a rat distortion. I don't like that. So, let's see. I'm probably going to go with, since this is a more, you know, mid forward amp, I'm not going to go with a um, 808 or anything like that. So my options are off the top of my head would be like a Zen Master, which is a Zen Drive, um, maybe the tape distortion or the fractal LED drive, but my favorite low gain drive is this, the Esoteric ACB, which is the, um, like the exotic AC booster. And so. So, disengage. Engaged. So, you know, right there you have a really cool tone. Um, let's see, what's some other cool things we could add? Um, if you wanted to, you could come over here and add a compressor. It defaults, I believe, to the studio compressor. Um, without. So already we have, let's see, compressor, drive, amp, cab, and reverb built in. I guess may as well go ahead and build a little, a little delay in here. And um, pick delay one. Now, of course, the thing to understand is in this delay block, you have all these different, you know, types you can choose from the 2290 um, through like uh, analog, mono, stereo, digital, mono, stereo, dual delay, ducking, tape, ping pong, reverb, all, you know, a million different, not a million, but quite a few different kinds. Um, it defaults to a digital mono, so there it is, pretty low mix, pretty low feedback. Um, you can come in really quick, set your tempo to a quarter note, um, bring the mix up a little bit, and increase the feedback, let's say to 20. There you have a pretty good, you know, big kind of ambient tone. And all, all, you know, always, if you just wanted to, um, you can adjust the feedback and mix. And just those two controls right there and your tempo will get you most of the way on what you want to do on delay. Um, again, there's a lot of, you know, deep things you can do here, adding modulation, mixing with the EQ and the ducking and all that kind of thing. But, you know, just for the sake of this video, there, pretty cool delay sound. And like I said, you can add a second delay. Let's say you wanted a, um, um, say you needed a, like a, you know, your typical kind of edge dotted eighth. You come over to tempo, select dotted eighth. Um, let's see how that sounds. 
but you obviously need a little lot more mix for that kind of thing. So now, let me get the tempo right. Two, three, four. So yeah, you know, you can get that whole kind of So if you've ever done any kind of YouTube atmospheric or like especially any kind of worship stuff, you know how, you know, how much that is used. So right there, we have a preset built so far with a comp, drive, amp, cab, quarter note delay, eighth note delay, and reverb um, in no time at all. And let's see, for let's say you want a solo boost, really easy. Um, you're going to add a filter. Now some people go about this a few different ways, they use an EQ block. But I found the easiest way is to use a filter. Let me come over here and it's a null filter. And you um, just put the level at like however much you want to boost, say plus 3.5 decibels. So now you have a solo tone. So let's, let's see, engage this, engage the delay, engage the drive. So this is gonna be our tone before we kick in the solo boost. Engage one delay. Uh, there we go. Now, granted, that delay is a little too in your face for a solo, but just for the purpose of this video. Now, here we are again. Kick that in. So you can see right there, you know, uh, the filter adds no coloration, it's just simply a volume boost. So it's great for, you know, now some people like to put an EQ block, I said at the end, to um, like maybe add some mid boost um, to help the guitar cut through. But I prefer to just use the filter block. So, you know, right now that's a pretty, um, that's a pretty good preset we're working with right there. Now let's say we wanted to come over here, let's turn, let's disengage that drive and the delay. Let's say you wanted to add a second gain stage. Just come in and drive two. And again, I'm not tweaking any of the parameters on these effects, so you know, it can make it even sound better if you tweaked it a little bit. I'm going to choose the BB Pre, which is the exotic BB preamp. Another one of my favorite real life drive pedals, so tell them without. Tell them with. So right there is a really cool rocking sound. You could cover a whole lot of ground with that. And between this and stacking this in. So obviously, you know, you could cover a whole lot of tones because you can go from that's just a straight up amp add this add this or engage this stuck in the last gain stage. Now, finally, I mean, you know, this would be a pretty good, you know, um, straight up patch that you could use for a lot of things from, you know, rock to country to whatever. And you know, again, it's as easy as just selecting a block and adding what you want. You can add a volume block and sync it to a um, expression pedal for volume pedal, which I have on my presets. You can come and add a wah wah and select it um, and add it and sync it to a expression pedal to use just like a typical wah wah pedal. Um, you could bring in something like, let's say, um, 
say a cool tremolo, tremolo effect, get it going. Uh, to something really fast. And like use a square wave. Let's set it to sixteenths. And engage the drive. And then you get a cool like effect so again it's really easy to just drop these things in and um, you have what you want now you can go in and you know do this um, preset test one hit save and it is saved to your axe effects so um, coming up in some more videos on doing this I'll be going over how to set up like a country patch a rock patch um, maybe you know how scenes can you know help you live um some people don't like using scenes i've gotten to where that i really really like using scenes and also down here if you see on each block there's an x and y status and um, i'll go into that in detail in another video because that's something that's really cool as well and we'll also get into some parallel routing and um you know the advantages of that but this was just a quick video to show you how easy and how fast it is to build a preset um, and somewhere probably around 10 minutes, um, we, you know, built this preset from scratch. And, um, you know, we didn't do a lot of deep tweaking, but, um, you know, it didn't take very long. And um, you can really knock some stuff out quick with this. It's really, it's what I always tell people is it's as easy or as hard as you make it. Um, if you stick to the basic controls and stuff that you know, and um, work that way you can really work quickly obviously if you get into some of these deep um, menus and start messing around it can be a rabbit hole and you can <laughs> disappear for days working on this stuff but um, it's only as difficult as you make it and it's no more difficult than using a real lamp or your standard you know um, stomp boxes or rack effects it's really easy and really a pretty logical workflow so, you know, I hope you enjoyed this, and um, like I said, there'll be more videos coming soon, really soon. Uh, thanks for watching. And, you know, if you enjoyed the video, please click like and um, subscribe to the channel. And you can also check out my blog at www.thedotteddaith.wordpress.com. See you next time.